guys i welcome you on your favorite show trends and gist the big brother ninja edition you know this is where we get to analyze all the highlights all the happenings in the house so guys i have a uh, gentleman and some ladies okay so by my right uh we have gideon moses thanks for coming and also by my left i have miss judith george thank you so much and i remain your host lady messiara thank you for joining us okay so guys talking about the big brother ninja show like i believe you guys have been watching you from the onset you've been seeing what's been going on in the house so this show so far season six how would you rate it would you say it's interesting would you say it's boring or would you say it's just there compared to you know season five or other seasons you know that have come and gone exactly. and lady first <laughs> Um, I've watched previous episodes and this particular one is not as intriguing as the other ones. I don't know why, for some reason they don't mm. have enough content. Okay. Yeah. So the the previous episodes they played very mind puzzling games. Like even the viewers would feel the tension in the game. But this season they're just repeating the same type of game they have been playing last time. I don't know, there's something going on with their team. Okay. Yeah, they, I mean the people back the organizers, team, they yeah. are really not putting in effort in bringing out new things. Like the show is now becoming predictable okay. to the point where they have to infuse um, 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 things that would make people like drag people to watch the show. Example, when they told they gave Nini that task mm. of leaving the house and not telling anybody, mm. that was just to make people watch the show. Back then, they don't really need to force people, like, people were already addicted to the whole program. Mm -hmm. So, this year, I really don't know. <laughs> so, let's should I say it's just there for you? <laughs> it's not just there, it's dying. That's, it's dying. That's, yeah, that's okay. Okay, okay, so what about you? Hmm, what do I think about this show? I think uh, the show for me started leaving when um, it was a bit boring. It was not a bit boring, it was quite boring, like really, really to the point. Wow. And until um, Tega, when Tega and Boma started their you know, entanglement, mm. it was fun for me because at least I'm seeing something different. Now, before you judge me or before you kill me, because I can see Miss George looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Now, the thing is, it was as if there was a deliberate, because the show is tough, shine your eyes, right? Yeah. yeah. It was as if there was a deliberate attempt, which I perceived was maybe from instructions they got, because definitely you'd be given some rules and instructions, and like, okay, definitely. I think, I'm not mm. going to the show again. I think there was, a, there was a deliberate attempt at backbiting, gossiping, and just attacking each other behind each other's back. Like, <laughs> it's like it was like a two faced apartment for mm. me. This person is like this now. Other editions that I've tried to watch, I try to see, we tend to see somebody, maybe one person is just that person. And there was a season, it was probably just, I think, V and some other people. But this by glass is like everybody, the moment you're just alone with somebody, you can't wait to talk about another person. That's like entertainment. Mm. That's not, it's like there was a deliberate attempt. It was obvious, it was conscious that I just have to backbite and all those things. You get so yeah. for me, the game started because something different was bought, brought on board. You get yeah, that was Tega and Buma, and I think they noticed too, or maybe something just uh, spoiled the moment. Like, oh, let's do something different. Then the game, like, I think, uh. Uh, I think you said something about it. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe it's not here. I talked about it, but then big year constantly. The the show organizers have to come up with something yeah. to just spice up the show yeah. because housemates were not just giving. Okay. And so the entertainment so ends. We're not yeah. just getting it because wow. so it's not it's not interesting. Yeah. It's not challenging. Show, feeling like yeah, you're supposed to. It's a competition. You're supposed to feel like this person can win. This person can win. Mm. But still leave, not that? come and wake up in the morning. The next thing you're thinking of is, so I got to talk about this person. Now, it became prominent when they showed a video of Saga, lover boy, in bed with Nini, Nini mm. uh, Queen uh, Vasti. <laughs> That's what I call them. Like, you get, got to a point where they had to show him in bed. Yeah, talking, talking about, about Perry. His supposedly closest friend. Mm. Now, the reason why they did that, 
that's why I came to ground. like, oh, maybe they told them to actually be doing this because everybody's doing it, no, even I... in jail, Sasuke. Uh, <laughs> at a point, gossiped about somebody. So, Big Brother need to up their game. They need to change strategies, next, right? Next season, next season. I think they should come up with a, a, a better strategy or just let people go in there and live their life. I think this whole title of shine your eye really mm. held them back. Like, okay. oh, it's shine your eyes, it's in everybody has to be awake, anybody can be your enemy, and all those things. I'm not there, I'm not your side. <laughs> okay, so do you guys think that um, Emmanuel has earned his place in the final stage? Or do you think it's due to Lico Rose's influence that got him there? Yeah, like finalists, you know, like that final stage. So what do you think? Is it Likorosi's Is it Likorosi's influence or he actually earned, you know, he earned it to be there? So Imano has fans, but his fans are not as hefty as Likorose. Mm. And now he was smart enough to know that this person, this Likorose, is actually a package on her own. She's fine. She yeah. has have fans outside. So he played the fast one. Or try to be together with her, and boom, it happens. So, in a relationship. so, so if I'm so getting you, that is Emmanuel's is strategy yeah. to use so, Licorose's influence to keep staying, to in, keep staying in the house. Okay. And that's why he was loyal to her. Like when she's head of house, she, he, like she gets to pick him mm. as deputy, thereby not being up for eviction. eviction. And the same thing happened for him to when he became head of house. So two of them kind of, they are, they are living together let me okay. put it that way like they so what about Iman. content content for emmanuel no, is it zero no, content it's just buying six parts <laughs> pink leaves just there just right there. or your spaces it's just there I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand how you say six parts wow. pink leaves in a dreamy manner and then <laughs> this is what will come from you man. like wait a minute wait a minute I wait, 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 I'm not. Emmanuel was house head of house. I mean, I mean, it's like, just one, once now, one week, twice, twice. Veto power. This one okay, veto power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's like twice. And that's twice saving almighty records. Peace, the me land. I'm not biting. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, now. Emmanuel had the strategy. I'm mm -hmm. sure probably before they came into the show, they had the campaign where they launched them and like, get to be the mm -hmm, job, mm -hmm. dinner tables. And, and they all must have said what oh, was yeah. Now, the thing is, Nini made sure we understood that if I'm not attracted to you for a relationship, the highest you can get is friendship. Okay. Now, there is no way Emmanuel will come to Lecoros and get pushing relationship. If she's not attracted to him, it won't work. All I'm saying is, even back, like behind camera or during Were you the behind campaign, camera? They must have said, because the way the whole thing just started was like, okay, we are doing this, let's just do this together. Whether it's real or it's not real. But, but now you I think assume I that, think that is real. okay. I, I, I think Emmanuel Ima, was, was strategic in the fact that Emmanuel is the, I think when he was ahead of us, that was the best week. No controversy, it was just. He doesn't need to shout. His words are firm and heavy. Everybody was just behaving themselves. So, they behave themselves. So, There's something a leadership quality about Emmanuel. So now, you are saying that it's not through Licorose's influence. Emmanuel has content and he earned his place. That's what you're in saying. The final, yes, in the final. In the show, yes. Of course, in the show, yes. And you well, are not agreeing final, to that, would, right? Would, you think that yes, it's so more of, it's more of Licorose's that influence. That's why Emmanuel is in there. I mean that Emmanuel. <laughs> How many times has the man been up for a vision for real, for real, for real, for real? Because I think it, it's love. Hey, that people just like, love. Mm, do, you think it's on. about love? See, Emmanuel came and it was, it was, I'm not a fan of Emmanuel, trust me. So don't, don't get it from a fan. No, I get it. No, I know you're yeah. not a fan of Emmanuel, Emmanuel but. Was his Which is Lico Rose. What are hey, you talking about? That is handsome. Why are you enunciating this? We are talking about Mr. Right. Africa. We are talking about Mr. Africa here, no, please. And that would make viewers want to watch. Oh, Mr. And Africa, my man is not everywhere. Fine, <laughs> bring fans to him, don't they? Then, then, didn't have anything to do with it. Emmanuel got but fans from teenage girls, girls that just past 18, 19, okay. that probably, oh, 
My God, Jimmy got okay. that thing. So that, that's his own, on his own now. Well, but Emmanuel has tried for himself though. He has really tried. Yes. Okay, so now let's move to other housemates. What do you guys see about, you know, this Perry and Angel? The gap between Perry and Angel during the pose. You know, the shoulders, the pose. Perry has 25%. Um, Angel has 13%. The gap is huge. And now Big Brother came up with a, 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 a game twist, mm -hmm. you know, for them to, you know, on screen drop to determine. So now what do you guys even think about the gap in the first place and then the Big Brother's twist? What do you have to say about that? Well, I feel the whole Big Brother thing, the big team, they are being strategic. Yes. Big Brother as a team? Yes, as they, a, are, yes okay. they are being strategic because at the end of the day, in the final, like that final day, that's when they end all their cash through voting. Yeah. So they make sure that they pick people with heavy content to be at that final. Okay. That's why Angel is in the house, because of her nudity. Oh, sorry if, if, I, if I sound rude to anybody, but she, everybody knows she likes being nude. Okay. And probably she has fans outside that love seeing those kind of, you know, short thing and all of that. So they were just being strategic about this whole game thing. That was why they brought in that um, uh, car puzzle where they had to... Decide. But you, but you think it was being fair to her? It wasn't fair in any way. Okay. It wasn't fair in any way. Angel is supposed to go... That's, that's like a suggestive question. Okay, so, yeah. Do you think it was being fair to her? I felt like you, you suggested an answer for her. No, I, I was asking her. I didn't, I didn't okay. ask. Do you I think wasn't... it was being fair to either of them? Okay, yes. Do you think yeah, it was being fair? Her. You're correct. Do you think it was being fair to either of them, you? No. Okay. Now, Basically, I'm not a fan of Perry or Angel. Perry deserves a place in the final. Now, for whatever reason they have to keep Angel there, mm. Angel showed it when she was in the house. And that was the first time she played a game. Because that was the first time she actually played a game, not the game. The game is Big Brother being mm. in the show. A game, a is game like yeah. Stats and all this that was the first time she actually showed she could actually be smart. She could actually do something because what she, what everybody sees in there is, oh, a 21 year old girl that's flashing every single day. That's what people see. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Now, for the first time, apart from the fact that they gossip about white money, is <laughs> is unbecoming. I was not expecting Angel to get to that point, but okay, because I felt like she's the only distracted housemate. Just all about. <laughs> so it's not fair on the two of them because if if Angel had gotten in through the game, mm. you get people were like ah, I beg you, it will, she will lose votes. Are you getting me? Because people would not want to vote for her because they say after all, even if we no vote for her, they go still she give her a better position. <laughs> a lot of people are saying it. Are you getting me? Now Angel on the part on her own part is she showed that she could play the game finally. When they came to constructing, yeah, the to road, unscrew the truck, which to our own part, she's just growing up, she's not really that far from building blocks and all that. So, I'm just gonna say that. Hey, come on, come on, it's just and she says, you know, I'm the last one of the house, and the smallest in this house. I was she, she obviously pointed out to us every now and then, okay? So, now it's unfair on her because if she gets to the final, if they are gonna have to really? use that yeah. game to remove her, yeah. she would have gone to the final. And then people will say, ah, you didn't it, merit yeah, you didn't marry it because that. Big Brother, after all, it, 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 yeah. she might lose fans. Yeah, yeah she fell on her that way. Yeah. And now, Pere, if Pere had stayed, or Pere, Pere, if he had gone, it's not fair on him, which is quite obvious. Now, on Pere's part again, it's not fair on him to make him tussle with somebody he obviously gave a it's like it's marked like almost double of angels. Yeah. And he and even thought it was a tie. Go through this. He thought it was a tie. Yeah. Yeah. To us, we didn't find it funny. It wasn't, it wasn't funny. funny. When I saw people going out, I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat till 12 o'clock because of this protest. There was a protest. I didn't protest, but I was, yeah. I was there like food protest. Right. I won't eat on time because of this. I had to join them one way or the other. You get it? Because I'm not a very fan, but once something is not fair, it's not fair. And I think that really got him more fans. Yeah, you got him more fans. Because there are people that would, yes, would do, yes. Because there are people who didn't like him, but because yeah. of that, you know, Nigerians they have a way of reacting to injustice. Yeah, we, we injustice you get. Yeah, we, so when someone is being, when people feel that someone has been, you know, been treated wrong. yeah treated wrongly, they tend to come for that person. Yeah. So I think that really that was like another advantage for Pere yeah. and yeah. for it when it comes to fan. Yes, yeah, it worked in his favor. Yeah. But he doesn't know what's going on outside. Yeah. Yeah. And talking about Pere, he also won a car. Imagine if he had left the house. You 
it would have been very painful. Imagine if you know, you know, angel. <laughs> You know, Angel, Angel topped the, the screen of the truck. Yeah. You get Angel topped it. So we kind of, would, would we say Big Brother kind of, you know, messed up in that game twist of a thing, in this whole stuff? I, think, I don't think they messed up in the game twist. They messed up in the day they sat down to make that decision to keep the truck. <laughs> because this is so the first they, time we're actually having a top The game was a beautiful like game. Just, they could have brought the game I into the house like, and add it as one of the tasks. I feel like nice. Okay. Crying. Like, they just wake up like, oh, yeah, strategies. The ten of you come here. But we could still see it as Big Brother and his rules. They get it's Big Brother's house. It's Big Brother's mm, rules. I just feel that's a room to sporadically do things for them. That's the Big Brother thing. That's just the room and okay. excuse for them to just sporadically do anything. Okay. Big Brother has leverages over some set of rules, but what has been constant in seasons mm. it's just like there are some things you cannot bend yeah. there are some you can bend what are the constant yeah you, used to eat. you know you know that this is constant any other thing you want to do bring in wild card bring additional in is acceptable back, yeah you know like they did for Perry. i thought i was what they are doing and they will now bring him back one night anybody sleeping and all those days all of a sudden now two people that's why i got it wrong i felt like maybe what they were thinking was oh to a girl will that not be too much pressure on all the guys mm. not on the girl now because people are like, ah, only one girl i vote for that girl yes. maybe that's why they mm. retain the angel yeah. and all those things that's what i'm thinking but come on it's, it's just like, there was, it's just like <laughs> fell back yeah, feel like kicking the face okay um before we wrap up, there's this, um, you know, clip that I saw where Angel, for the first time, you know, was having a face, for, um, uh, like she was having a feast with what Liko Rose said, because she said Liko Rose has been making side comments about her, so that she was, doesn't find funny. So there was this time that Liko Rose said something, I think she had a call of Emmanuel or something, if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, she, Angel had that reaction of like, Liko Rose, you've been saying shit about me, and, you know, I've been... No. There's something underground going on between Emmanuel and Angel. Okay, like, but, but, but they're tagging his no, brother, sister, stuff. That's you get. not what I think. I have been seeing this example. I've been seeing the signs, the whole touching of hands, the blinking of eyes, and raising of breasts. <laughs> I know what she's doing. So, Nicole Rose must have been, you know, noticing, noticing. these things. And she probably knows that Nicole Rose is. And you know, Angel is this kind of person that she goes for you, she doesn't let you come. For like come to yeah. her. you know she had a fallout with parent. Yeah, yeah. She goes for you like when when she knows you're coming for her, she'll be the one to like give it to you. So that's what she give was like. They trouble, the whole shouting, <laughs> the insult, and everything. Oh my goodness. So I think that's her personality. She just like attacking. Okay, so so do you think um a reaction towards Licorus was okay? It wasn't in any way. Okay. Bitch, you know what you're doing. You're trying to steal somebody's smart. Just do it politely. Just tell her, look, I don't know how you, both of you are doing this thing, but I think I like you guys. So, so the, 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 she's just going If Angel, I think there are lesser men in the house that are attractive. If Angel has gone for everybody, mm -hmm. has done basically everything smooth you want with every guy <laughs> that's passed that house. <laughs> Probably apart from white money because white yeah. money is already they're, they're the father of the house. Yes. All right, welcome back, guys. So, one of our guests just joined us, and we have with us Miss Sarah Saraya Dombin. Am I correct? Yes, Saraya Dombin. You're welcome on the show. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, um, like we were discussing before, you know, she joined us. Um, we're talking about you know, um, the housemates and uh. Now we are looking at Angel, you know, lashing out at Liko Rose. You know, she said Liko Rose has been saying lots of, you know, stuff behind her back and she's been keeping quiet, you know, not saying a lot of that. So I'm asking, is her reaction, you know, um, okay, the way she reacted towards Liko Rose, you know, confronting Liko Rose and saying that for the fact that I've been keeping quiet for those who side talks doesn't mean. And, you know, this time around, I think, I think she couldn't, you know, endure it anymore. She had to just let out, you know, uh, say so how she felt you know I, I, so I, I was asking was that reaction from angel was it okay was it necessary yeah was it necessary was it okay so let's let's have what you were saying um okay um was it necessary of course if someone is talking about me i would i would lash out exactly. and if you're talking about me i should you, you should expect that we talk about you 
I don't understand why people will talk about you and then when you talk about them, they don't like it. Mm. Now, as any as as there been a, a a a period of time or an occasion or a moment where Angel talked about Likoros, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Now, Likoros talking about Angel, it's normal. People will talk about you. Now, the thing is. Likoros is not comfortable. I know some people will come from the angle of, oh, because it's a man or this thing and all that, I'll leave it for you ladies to talk about. It. But for me, I think Likoros, just like me, isn't comfortable with somebody flashing and just dumping it up in your face every day. She's a lady. So like, and Likoros, I think she has tried as much as possible to be ladylike. Or mm. expect a lady to be, you get. If not, what if uh, if you're an angel fan? If anybody tells me they're an angel fan, then why are you covered up? Come, girl, you're not doing it right. Are you, you get, serious? Because yeah. if you find someone, I think you should find this fanatic. You yeah, need to stand the person, like the person to the core. You mm. like, come on. You you feel me, right? Yeah. So I think she's coming from that angle. It's just pressed, pressed, pressed. Friends to the point that oh you're not coming for a man after I've seen you several times through yourself and other guys <laughs> now you're not coming for the man I just professed love for how many days ago or there about you get mm. so any woman who want to protect her own so if you disagree with that stop not my opinion <laughs> so 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 Sarah what do you have to say about that do you... okay well to me I feel um, anybody talking about you it's actually not your business it's a game it could be a strategy to get you out, to flare you up, just like it's been happening. Do you understand? So you react and then the next thing, you're out of the game. Mm. So if I wear liquors and I hear angels flashing at me, I won't even bother. I'll just keep moving. Like I'll, I'll keep doing things that will make her keep talking, but she, I won't even drag. Like I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put her on her lean. Do you understand? Mm. I'll keep doing things like I'll keep doing things that will make my fans keep voting for me, keep not seeing fault in everything I do. Which is okay. part of the game. Okay. Yes, she said, game. she said, Angel said that. Likros has been making side comments. Who it has is been not telling her. Who, she no, she actually hears the side comments. So she just side she comment, turns yeah. she turns blind. You know, there are some comments that someone will make, you know, to spite you. Not because the person is not saying it. Um so but the person no because we're coming from no we're looking at it from Emmanuel's side because Lico, um Emmanuel and what's her name now Angel, Angel uh, have turned themselves you know to be brother and, like brother and sister in the show mm -hmm. and they are what was that word again what they be flirting you get thank what you are, so my, given that my boyfriend is best friends or doing sister brothership with a nudist who does that? But this like, is which, a game. Which woman will be comfortable this with that? That's why Likoros is probably talking and talking and talking. An angel does what she does best. At the end of the day, she gives an estate that, eh, because I'm small. Mm -mm. You, any small thing, you lash out at people and use curse words, abusive words. She's done with Perry, she's done with Boma, Boma, okay, Boma has worth it. But every single time, she'll just come and lash out. Come on. People will talk about you. <laughs> okay, okay. I think you guys are you are cool with um, you know what. Okay, from from my own perception, like I see, like it could be a strategy, just mm. like I said, it happens to get catch her. her to yes, to get her out of the game. So whatever anybody says about you, or whenever you hear, it, to me, it's none of my business. I just know why I'm there. I have to be focused on the game. Do you understand? Mm. Just like Nengi played a good role there. Like whatever they said in the house, you didn't even get at her. Do you understand? It like, did get at her, but it never got at her. There's a way she handled yeah, it. Yeah, there was a way she handled it. Yeah. She never even allowed it to get to her. She like, handled she it better, thick, not that you yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she wore a thick skin. So to me, anyone talking about me, if I was in the game, I'll just keep doing my thing and assume they're not even talking about me. To me, that's what I feel. And then secondly, it's so annoying that this whole thing is running down to a man. So they should not fight over anybody. It's not necessary. This Miss is a game. Africa. At the end of the day, the guy might not even, <laughs> want, to to that. even want to have anything to do with any of them. And he doesn't want to have anything to do, do with anybody so but it's, everybody. It's, exactly. So, so my point here is, ladies shouldn't even have a, a, a nasty conversation or use saucy words on each other just because of a man. This is a game. You don't know anybody. You're just there for the money. So just focus on the money. Whatever it takes, even if you're not going to get the money, just play your role, fine. 
You don't need to be nasty. This is national TV for well, being nasty. Well, give you your point, but I think maybe that's that's the angle Angel is coming from. Like they are all single in their house. Nobody's married. Exactly. So you don't did, and nobody is terming their relationship. Like their relationships are not jo are not confirmed yet because. They don't know what next to expect when they get out of the house. So now I'm, she's in the house. So she feels like she can do whatever she wants no, to do with well, anybody that's, because that's nobody not is. Come on. That's not yeah, it's not proper, but I think of, it's our own game. Now, mm. You want to say something. Something is biting you. Like you have this problem with this person. Why don't you just call her to one side and tell her, I don't like this thing you're doing. You already know what's going on between me and Mama, so I don't understand this whole body touch and brotherhood and sister thing. Mm. Like, it's not clicking. Okay, so, she should have yeah, called. Yeah, just called her one side. Yes, instead, instead of, of making side, you, you get, that's where the like, girls got it wrong. Like yeah? you're now trying to play one kind of game people don't understand. So that's why I felt the girls did wrong. And then secondly, babe, they never put a ring for you. I, exactly. exactly. You don't claim mine. Exactly. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's, that's, that's what I'm. 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 That's no, we can't tell if it will last long or no. We can't tell for that. Uh, 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 what is it? Is it Gedoni and Kathy? No, not Gedoni mm. and Kathy. Just... V and Neo. Neo and V. V and Neo, okay. What's up? Did we know what's going to last long? No, but Neo played a very good role in the house. Which we were just talk, Like, sorry, we were just talk to... Um, um, oh, he had some, it, some this thing with Kaisha. They were distractions. Emmanuel was not even distracted up until Angel came. <laughs> And see, let us just. My place problem it. is Nicole. The, Nicole. She could have handled. That was it. The way she handled the situation was wrong. wrong. Yeah. Now, she, to Emmanuel, they, there like, was a, there was there was, there was no triangle. It was a parallel line. Emmanuel, Nicole. Nicole. They made that obvious from onset, and every. But the evil Every woman, housemate. They respect her yes. Is there like a ship between them? Then yes, yes. You are yes. the only one that did not know that the, the ship is Titanic, but it crashed. Okay. Yeah? It has been going on for so long. You get it? <laughs> oh my so, god. So, so if I were the person, I won't even fight my fellow girl. She's not fighting. She just she, she just fight she just like, like oh like, guys, what do you think about this thing that Angel is doing? It's just like looking for opinion, which is not right. Yeah, Confront Angel. But the thing is, if not me, I'm not confronting Jay. Exactly. I've seen people that are confronted in jail. In jail, cause their mama, exactly. cause their papa, cause so, somebody so across. So, what you're right? saying is, you prefer, so what you're saying is, you prefer the side comments to, you know, calling her and I telling her and talking to her. Anything. I think what I would do is talk to my man. Exactly. exactly. That's the right thing. Exactly. That's the right thing. Exactly. You, you get it. That's that's the best. Yes, thing. because I, you think Emmanuel like, is yo, bro, actually the issue there. Sit down, bro. I, I assume this is how you it. Like, if she wants to say that kind of thing, like, sit down, bro. I need to talk to you. Listen, I don't like the way that gets touching you, and you get yeah. to touching yourself. I'm not comfortable yeah. with it. And, and you can't be doing this just days after I profess love to you. It's not proper. It's not right. And like, how do you think? Mm. You, I'm not here to play games. If I was playing game, I would have finished with you since. She should have gone through there are that. Yeah, guys in that house. Yeah. This guy is just lean. And then maybe Michael, he says just uh, Perez. Say this guy is just lean. Oh, you come get, on. There are two care guys. There's white money there. White <laughs> but to oh me, I, I feel like um, how oh, were you not able to see that? Okay, while in the house, um, kid. What? Sorry, that's the ex, ex housemate. While in the house, why was Erica able to keep kid to herself? She didn't keep kid. Yeah. Like. She kid. did. Was, no. Kid, kid was, had, kid was like, it was like royalty there. Kid has he was like royalty there. He kid was just always respecting Ozo because if he knows not. that Ozo is not the loud type and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. going after Nengi knowing that Ozo is there and if Ozo was the loud type, kid mother would have gone. Okay, okay, so, so, okay, so how come, how come, okay, um, when um, um Dorothy was trying to like Ozo at some point, um, Nengi pulled herself. But he still went after Lenki. Also, if I was in that shoe, I would have done the same thing in this case. Pull from Liquor. Emmanuel. Yes, Liquor no, like there's Emmanuel. how Lenki pulled herself from those dramatic things, so it didn't look like she's the guy is just all after her. That was why. That, was, that is that. why. That's why. I, and then they kept talking about Lenki, but she gave them a deaf ear. Lastly. You know, every fan base now they are campaigning for their favorites. Mm -hmm. You get so now I think the battle is even stronger because this top six nobody wants everybody's 
pitching for the 90 million yeah. so who do you guys because i don't know the, the whole thing is getting i think now is when the whole thing is becoming more interesting it, to me i would say from the beginning of the show this is actually the time i'm yeah. enjoying this yeah. show yeah. this time now you are? so <laughs> so who do you guys think will actually emerge as the winner because the competition is now real mm. so let me start with you yeah. no yes let me start with you who do you see emerging as the winner for the show? My landlord, no one forgot it. Who is it? It's white money. Okay, the white money gang. White money. Okay, so Sarah, who are you going for? White money. He said um, his dad left him. His dad abandoned him. Everybody yep, everybody him. abandoned him. Is that his story? I really don't know. But out of pity, yes. But he was just like, um, they can. Okay. Out of pity for him. Okay, so you're going for white money. Yes. Okay, so Judith, who are you going for? It's for us. Ah, ah. I so, <laughs> so, so. What about you? <laughs> I'm neutral. I'm oh. team neutral. Exactly. So now I have the white money gang versus Liquor Rose. That's two against one. Yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you very, very much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And viewers, I hope you enjoyed watching. So we have come to the end of today's episode. We will see again, you know, on the very last day where we'll see if our predictions were actually through between white money liquor rose pere angel and cross who guess you know to win the 90 m we'll be there to see it live and direct and talk about it congratulations to our executives and of course uh, our sponsors for being a part of this amazing feat more shoes to your market <laughs> make some noise for white body <laughs> <laughs> Two bedroom. That plus one that you're taking to travel is going to be there. Still with you. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. In the art of Lekki, this house is actually located in Orchard Road, opposite Chevron in yes. Lekki. This is one of the fastest growing area in Lekki right now. Wow. I can tell you, and the return on property there is skyrocketing by the day. So I want to tell you that you just got yourself right there. Sure. To say this lastly, wow. I like to my the buddy of the Big Brother. He's actually the third time we're sponsoring the you know Big Brother Ninja show. Back to back, we've been on it for the last three years and we intend to continue because it's really added to us. Thank you very much. So I remain your host once again. I'm Lady Masiara. Thank you for watching.